I'm a fairly good bowler, but sometimes I spray it down the leg side. I don't know what you're talking about, Lachlan. <laughs> what can I do to help me stop doing this? Well, Lachlan, we've all done that in our past, mate, but um, I think most importantly, with an action of shimming your ball into a right-hand batsman, you could be spraying the ball down the leg side because you could be falling away a little bit. So I would say keep your arm up nice and straight, up as high as you can. Imagine there's something on the top of the net or a, a star in the sky. Rip it down and follow right through. If, if you're doing that and you're keeping your lines pretty simple, you shouldn't be spraying the ball down the leg side. So hopefully that might help, mate. I'm well, well amount of tea and soup too That's much right. It's working beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Connolly joins us uh, from Queensland. He's 17 years of age. I'm a medium pace bowler. I'm having trouble with my back when I bowl. Do you think I have a problem with my action or do I just have a crook back? Well Sam, I've, I've been there. I've had, unfortunately I've broke my back twice. Um, if your back is sore or the part of your body is sore, it's sore for a reason. So it's important that you might want to get your dad or some coach that you, you might have been coached from to maybe video you from behind or front on to see what you're doing with your hips and your shoulders. It's important that as a bowler that you keep your hips and shoulders in one line and what I mean by that is that if you're front on, your hips are front on, your shoulders are front on, if you're side on, your hips are side on and your shoulders are side on. What happens is if you start to mix it and what they call a mixed action or hyper extension counter rotation, that's when your back might get sore. So I would suggest get some video, see if your action is mixed, if it's mixed try and straighten up your legs and your shoulders and hopefully that might fix the problem. Just quickly, those back problems are generally base to the back or higher up? Uh, I had mine down pretty low. Uh, the second lot was about sort of um, you know medium lumbar, right. lumbar vertebrae. So it's it's actually amazing how much you learn about your body too when you're a fast bowler. Mm. Uh, Zach uh, from Queensland is our final email. I'd like to know what I need to do in the gym and what diet I need to have to become an express bowler like you. Well, Zach, you're 15, mate. I, I would pre-recommend for the next probably year or two. Um, you don't need to do heavy weights, mate. You have to let your body grow. Um, to me, I, I never really followed a diet, I just try to eat healthy. Um, we've all been guilty of the odd um, you know, treat every now and then, I'm a bit of a chocolate fan mate, but um, eat in moderation. Uh, and, and what I've done in the gym uh, since I've been playing cricket is just to try to improve a bit of strength, but I'd, I'd sort of recommend that you let your body grow up as much as you can, maybe to about 18, and then maybe start doing some light weights. But to bowl fast, you need to work on your fast twitch fibres, and what I mean by that is Work on sprinting, make sure you, that your approach to the crease is really good. Get strong, get your ab and you know your core strength really strong, look after your back. Good. Zach's 15, I, I suppose Brett Lee at 15, were you, were you, it was just bowling then or, or was it yeah. starting to become scientific? No, look I sort of never touched the gym until I was 18 or 19 years of age and I, even then it was only like light weights. So um, to me, sprinting was very, very important to me. I found that if I did you know, 10, 15 sprints at most training sessions, over 30 metres, which is about my run-up, I found that I would run in a lot quicker, obviously. Um, by the time I was playing in the game, I felt like you know my action and my approach was a lot more efficient. That rhythm. Yeah, and rhythm, and that, that, that's helped my bowling. So I wouldn't be touching weights at 15, that's my personal opinion, but um, and, you know, make, making sure these bones grow up and everything like that first, and then, and then maybe some light weights. Darn good advice.